Okay, I'm going to walk you through on how to download the Konica print driver um, for your Mac and how to program it with user authentication. Um, so to do so, first let's close it on my mail so you don't get bothered by those. <laughs> we're going to go to Google and we're going to type in Konica print driver. Um, click on the link that's going to give you the one-stop product support. Um, for this video, we're going to use the C454E as our demo machine. Um, type in C54E and then click on this BizHub. Um, then what we'll do is click on Drivers. And check your Mac to see what version you have. You'll click on this little Apple symbol in the upper left and do About This Mac. Um, so I'm running um, Mac 11.5.1. So you're going to scroll down on this driver list until you find your Mac. And so gonna, if you've got the latest version, uh, Mac 12.x, just click on the 11.x. It's going to work fine. Open that up. Click on the letter dot zip option. That'll download. You're going to click on your download opener and open that package. You're just going to keep clicking continue and next to you install the driver. Then we'll configure it after. Uh, it's going to ask you for your password. This is your computer's log on password all right once you've got the uh, driver installed um, just click OK and allow and you can move it to trash uh, for the installer package once you're done um, you're gonna click on system preferences you're gonna come down to printers and scanners you're going to click on the plus option. Uh, you're going to click on, don't choose the driver here. This connection is going to be a little bit slower. Uh, we want a standard TCP IP connection. C click on the little globe icon. Uh, type in the IP address. You should have that for the printer. If you don't, um, let, let me know and I can walk you through how to find that. Uh, the machine that we're using, this is the IP of it. Uh, set protocol to LPD. Sometimes it'll be set to IPP. Go ahead and set that to LPD. Q, leave blank. Name. Uh, you can change that to whatever you like. We're going to do demo printer. Uh, locations optional. Sometimes that will auto fill in. You can delete that. You can change it. Um, completely up to you. Next to use, we do need to switch this. This is going to be set to generic PostScript printer most of the time. Sometimes it might find the machine automatically. Um, what we're looking to do, though, is go into select software. And we want to find that Konica c 54 eps This is important. This must match whatever machine you're doing or it will not authenticate properly uh, when we use the user authentication option. Um, we're going to say OK. And so make sure it says c 54 e PostScript. Click Add. Um, would you like to read it? Just say Continue if you've already got one installed. Um, it's important to know what machine options you have. Um, so for this one, uh, we've got the 410, that's a large capacity tray. We've got the 534 finisher, and we've got the punch unit, 2 slash 3. If you have the folder, um, I, I believe it's going to be this one, the 534 ST511. That's if you have the fold option as well. Um, we're going to OK that. So that's added. Now we get to program the presets for the authentication and for your color and your single-sided. Um, if you're using Safari, that works fine. Just go to File and Print. Um, this is important. So whatever application you're in, when you get to this screen, if you don't see all the details, click Show Details. And it should have the name of the application here. So we're in Safari, so it says Safari. If you were in Word, um, it should say Word. If you were you know, in Chrome, um, Chrome, you have to click on print to use system dialog, and then you should get this screen. Um, uh, you're going to click on this drop down. It's important that you see all these options output, layout, finish. If you do not see all these options and it just says printer features, 
it will not work. There is no place to put in the user authentication code. Um, the only way around that is to either use a different application um, to print from or update to a newer version of OS. I believe anything um, with Mac 11 and up is going to be fine. All the applications will give you the right print dialog screen. So make sure you see this. Um, once you do, um, if you want to change the quality, go ahead and switch that from auto color to grayscale. Go into your layout. And you can change that from two-sided to one-sided. Those are the two most common settings. Um, but the important one for this video is the uh, user authentication. You're going to click on output. You're going to click on user authentication. It's going to prompt you. Um, click recipient user. Type in um, a name of the account identically to how it's programmed and the password associated with it for the authentication and click Save Settings. That's going to save this and say OK. And then come up to Presets. Click on Save Current Setting as a Preset and go ahead and name that. You can call it, you know, like User Auth. I'd say OK. It's going to stay on whatever preset or it should stay on whatever preset you print from last. So when you program that, don't just click Cancel. Go ahead and just try one print. And that should hold that setting. So if we come back in here and click Print, go to Output, User Authentication should be checked. If you ever need to change that code, you can click on this Detail Settings. You're going to see User Authentication here. You can come in here and edit. So you can change username, password, um, all that good stuff. Um, and that's it. That's how you program a Mac. That's how you install the driver uh, or install the software configure the driver and um, enable it for the user authentication and save it as a preset and it should hold that setting regardless of what application you're printing from. That's it. Thank you very much.